welcome to Jenna's Sparkling Kitchen. I'm Jenna Skarnecki and today we're making guacamole. So, get some pretty ripe avocados. So you want to be able to squeeze them a little. Squishy. So, when they're nice and squishy and ripe, take them and cut them in half. So we just have a nice large bowl here. And we're just going to scoop in the nice green parts. Um, avoid those brown areas because that could taste nasty. So squeeze the pit in there and get it around the edges of that. And keep taking that brown stuff out. So this one's a little on the ripe side, but hey, that's fine. We can make it work. You can make any avocado work. Because avocados are amazing superfoods from God. We have a live audience joining us tonight at my countertop. So Jenna's Sparkling Kitchen today has special guests of Memi, Mackenzie, Jane, Haley, Lindsay, Jose, and Carla, our lovely camera woman. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and just keep getting this avocado in there. Everyone wants to learn how to make guacamole tonight. And Jenna's sparkling jewelry. Oh. Now we're going to go ahead and add this little piece of garlic in there. So we're just going to cut off the ends and peel it. And then we're going to cut it up all tiny like. So I like to cut it in long strips and then little tiny pieces. Because if your garlic chunks are too big, everyone at your like party is going to have bad breath. And uh, yeah, you'll taste it. But since I'm Italian and I love garlic, I can eat it. Watch me. Mmm, garlic. Go try that at home. Now we're gonna go ahead and add two tomatoes. These are like medium size. I love lots of tomato in my guacamole, so if you want a little less, you can add less to your guac. So we're gonna cut those up pretty little. Avoid any brown spots, of course.